Do your maps look like this? Do you want them to look like this? Well, in today's video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about need zones, how to stack them, how they work, so that you too can end up with results like this. Need zones are a crucial part to keeping a healthy map loaded with game for your shooting pleasure. And to do so and explain so, let's start with the basics. Need zones are rest zones and feeding zones. Your animals will spawn accordingly depending on how many of those you have. Now obtaining these need zones is actually not too difficult of a thing. You simply have to locate an animal at rest or at feed, if you will. Click on them and that will be marked on your map. Protecting your need zones. Now when you spot these need zones, there's gonna be a certain number of animals attached to that need zone. When all of those animals are killed, that need zone will disappear. Now sometimes you can avoid this as you find a level four moose that absolutely must go down. And in doing so, we have deleted one from that rest zone. However, I did see there was a few at rest, and I know that need zone will not disappear. Well, how do we know how many there are in a need zone? I don't get it, Beard. Well, as I mentioned earlier, after you have spotted a need zone, if you walk up and find the need zone track like we are doing right now, it will actually give you the information detailed. In the top right, as you can see, below the eating, it shows there is one animal attached to this need zone. So to recap, as mentioned, if you shoot the animals that are attached to that need zone and they all die, that need zone will disappear. But there is something else we need to take into consideration and that is hunting pressure. Now you've all seen on your map, when you kill an animal, you get this little purple blotch. If you kill two, that little purple blotch gets a little bit darker. If you kill three or more, you then have hunting pressure level three. Now hunting pressure level three is extremely bright. You will know it when you see it. And if you do so, you will erase all need zones within that perimeter of the hunting pressure level three stacking need zones now we've talked about how to lose the need zones and rather how to protect them well how do we stack them well of course you can't simply run around and spot everything and don't shoot everything but that sounds like work and a little bit grindy not a whole lot of fun what i suggest is hunt as you would normally but do not kill everything you come across. Keep an eye on your hunting pressure. Do not let it exceed level two. Do not kill every animal attached to a need zone. Now, if you only see one animal feeding, chances are there's only one animal in that need zone. Don't shoot it. Try to avoid shooting the females. Go for the males, the big prizes. Of course, it can simply be fun to go out and if it moves, it dies, as my good friend Mr. Kiwi says. However, in doing so, you are going to lose those need zones you have worked to get if you get that hunting three pressure or you kill the animals all attached to it. Now, if for say you're out in Balmond and all you spot is moose in need zones, if all you spot is moose, you are going to have a lot of moose respawning. So you could essentially split your areas up. I've got moose in Balmont. I've got whitetail in Willpig. I've got elk in Culvern. You can do this. However, I find for myself, I'm spotting everything these days and getting a whole lot of game everywhere. This will increase your chance in getting diamonds to reappear on your map. As we have spoken before about the level up, level down after you've killed it, kill all those big animals. But I digress. We're not getting into a diamond hunt strategy here. If you want to see that, go check out my how to get diamonds video. Need zone times. Now I've had people say to me before, well, Beard, I head out to my need zones and I don't see any animals. It's important to note the need zone 
times. Time of day will greatly affect when and if that animal will even be there. Animals tend to travel from need zone to need zone as they have certain pathing they like to follow, but they can be pushed off that pathing. So following your need zones will give you a good place to start, but will not be the definitive end all of end alls if those animals will in fact be there. Multiplayer need zone stacking. Now this is a concept that is actually pretty new to myself. My good friend, Mr. Rek Kiwi and his partner, Kamiki Racer, just informed me of this the other night and I just found it too good not to share. Now keep in mind, I personally have not confirmed this myself, but let's face it, the boys from Down Under are pretty knowledgeable, and I hold it to be true. If you find yourself in a multiplayer game and you were on a friend's map, or a stranger's map for that matter, every single need zone you pick up will be transferred to your map. Now, Mr. Red Kiwi has told me that in doing so, during our live streams, hanging out in my Will Pay area, which, <laughs> if you take a look at this, you can see I've put a lot of time into stacking my need zones. He has been able to do the same on his map. Now, this came as a great shock to me. I did not know that this was the case. I often went on a multiplayer game on someone else's map. I did not bother to go and pick them up. From this point on, I most certainly will, especially when I'm on Mrs. B's maps, because they're certainly lit. Now, I do certainly hope I have not missed any information here. I believe I have been thorough in bringing to you everything that we currently know about need zones and everything that you should know in order to stack them and increase the amount of gain on your maps. Now, I do believe I've covered just about everything that we currently know about need zones, and now for a little special treat. This is, in fact, the first hunt that Mrs. V and myself got out to. And it's a little bit of a montage. It's not very long, but it's just something to put together so you all can enjoy as much as I did. Ha <laughs> ha! 